Running and jumping from valleys to turns, flat plains lead over to majestic curves. The countryside brilliant, cliffs of white gold, it is my great sculpture which right now I hold. It is a fantastic long water slide, a fabulous flowing roller coaster ride, a river flowing on a cliff top's end. It is my great sculpture, it ed its edges and bends. Is it a tiger, a bone in a field? Is it living or dying? What will be revealed? Is it precious and sacred? What else could it be? It is my great sculpture, important to me. Can it speak? Can it walk? Is it alive? Can it talk? The shape is alive, the shape is real. It is my great sculpture, which right now I feel. As I walked over the jagged cliff and fell into a deadly void, I was transported to a planet which I could shape. So I shaped my destiny. I shaped mountains, I shaped cliffs. I shaped edges, I shaped rifts. I shaped the relief, so smooth and sleek. I shaped a, cla I shaped a cave, dark and disturbing. And now as I look upon my creation, I certainly smile with glee. I love my masterpiece. It is now a part of me. You started off as a lump of clay, and when I finished, I said yay. I helped you, softened you, and created those swirls. Now you are worth more than diamonds and pearls. I made you to be smooth and tough but dry, but when I say what you're wonderful, I cannot lie. I could tell you lots of Henry Moore facts while using plenty of water to get rid of your cracks. Others may say you look like people or geese, but to me you are definitely a masterpiece. A sculpture that is grey, purely made out of clay, with curling curves that shine and delicate sharp lines. The flowing linking holes representing lovely souls. The clay like water on the sea, the channels lovely to see. Thick dimensions that are hollow, like a wide flush in meadow. The lines like a piece of jigsaw that fit and make you feel in awe. It sustains remarkable heaviness with holes and curves that are countless. The shape of a monumental mountain, getting thicker and larger again and again. He is what he is. He will be what I want him to be. What I want him to be is a spectacle for all to see. I held him in my hands. I moulded Tyrone. I created him. He grew part by part. He is truly my majestic piece of art. The shape flows. I wonder where that dip goes. Every detail administered with the greatest possible care. Edges defined, obscurities refined. All that's on my mind, taking my time. And when he, when he is finished, my greatest piece of work I shall proclaim. And then I shall display him, for he shall not bring me shame. Such an innocent piece of clay you once were. So round, so smooth, so <coughs> soft like fur. I decided to make you a beautiful piece. This is, was, was not what you turned out as, not the least. And although you are good as you are, from what I planned you are far. In the plastic bag you began to mutate. I noticed it soon, soon but it was far too late. Your beauty was ripped, your edge curves were torn, and from your remains agony was born.